I turn now to the socio-economic aspect of what is proving to be our long nightfall. Our principal efforts here are twofold, to disburse all needed unemployment relief funds and to roll out an emergency countrywide food assistance program. We are in the middle of an economic shock, the likes of which the modern world, let alone our beloved Belize, has never seen. Business activity has come almost to a halt. People have lost their jobs and livelihood, and revenue sources have dried up. The tax base has utterly eroded, and we are terribly short of money. We are without coin of the realm and it is not possible to collect anything but a trickle. Still, government must operate and the country must be kept going. We have to find salaries, especially for our doctors and nurses, our security forces, immigration and customs officers, and all the public servants that maintain the administration. We must keep the lights on and the water flowing. We must pay for the PPEs and the testing kits and the Cuban Brigade that has left their homeland to assist us. Above all, we must help our people. We must feed our people.